What's up everybody? Nice to see you again. In this video I'm going to show you the performance difference of Capture One 11 and Lightroom 6. In the first part I'm going into the de development module of both programs. In the second part I will show you the spot removal tool. The last part of the video are some tips how to increase your Lightroom performance. Note that all the steps I am going to show you are after I added a couple of masks uh, to the picture so you can see the performance uh, hits better uh, with both programs. So let's jump right in. So what you can see if I work here in Capture One, maybe release the mask again. Just so my hardware is properly used. You can see it's nearly up to 100% on every car. And if I do the same thing over in Lightroom, drawing masks, releasing masks, you can see it's lagging just a lot more. It really is bad. And what you also can see is the cores are not properly used. It just uses maybe half of the power that my PC actually has. That's the problem with the Adobe products. So let's finish this up really quick. A really nice picture. Love it. And the next step, and now the performance stop, in my opinion, really to take a hit, is the spot removal. So I will take this a little bit far, take something like 20 spots, just that I can show you properly how it impacts the performance. So what you will notice is, if I hit the spot, it takes like one second to actually make the adjustment. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten spots. So let's leave it at that and now hit Jump over here, capture one, and there's also a spot removal tool here. And let's just make it a bit bigger and let's just hit ten, 10 spots as fast as I can. So let's make it a little bit bigger. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. It's just way faster and it seems to not slow down anywhere. Uh, in Lightroom, I think the more you add, the more it slows down. So, so now we have about the same points. And now let's just draw another mask, just to show you the performance again. I think it's getting worse. Maybe not a lot, but it's getting worse. Now let's delete this again. So that's it for now. What I'm going to show you now is what happens if you would, if I would have add the lens correction from the beginning. So let's activate them. And also, just for the fun, do some noise reduction. And now again, let's draw a mask. And you can see now it's really, really painfully slow. That's where, where Lightroom really starts to suck in for 
performance, I guess. So really, if you are working with Lightroom and if you continue working with Lightroom, don't do this. Just that's the I think that's the biggest performance gain or uh, biggest hit you can take if you add the noise reduction and the lens correction from the beginning. Uh, so next step I'm going to show you just some other tricks you can do in Lightroom to increase the performance. So the first tip is if you are in the library, you're going to mark all your photos, Control A, uh, then go to library and hit convert photos to DMG. So this converts it obviously to DMG from the raw file and in some cases the performance can be better or is better. Uh, the other thing would be to uh, make one-to-one -one previews on the import but it just it will take time on the import and I think uh, personally I don't like to do this because then I have to wait on the import long, so it doesn't really speed up the workflow. I want to get in, import my raw files as fast as possible and start working. That's just my workflow. And with Capture One I can do this. I don't have to do any conversions to DNG or anything like that and it just works fine and fast. And also uh, do the same like uh, lens corrections, you can analyze the photo and correct my lens by hand because uh, it is not supported, that's the downside uh, for Capture One. My lens isn't supported here, but I don't have a really big problem because I can do it by hand. You can see this is quite slow, but even if I add this and even if I add noise reduction, if I just add another mask and draw around, it's just as fast as in the beginning, I guess. So let's sum this up. I would say Capture One is faster than Lightroom. It really in the the spot removal and uh, masking tools are just uh, just better and faster to work with. Uh, I think if you are the guy that just uh, edits one or maybe five landscape pictures occasionally, uh, Lightroom is is does everything very well. But if you are the guy that does 200 or uh, 1000 shots of a wedding or concert shootings like me, like me things like that, uh, it's just uh, after the 50th picture uh, your editing just starts to make me angry if, if the performance isn't there and that's just not the case in Capture One. It doesn't slow down, you can uh, add sharpening or noise reduction or whatever you want, whenever you want. You don't have to follow this workflow. Uh, yeah, but I see if you are a pro and if you have worked like for 10 years with Lightroom or longer and you have all your presets, it is pretty hard, I think, to change. So. But I would everyone recommend just try it out. It's free, 30 day trial, uh, Capture One Pro 11. Yeah, I would say if you have the time, try it out. Thanks a lot for watching. And uh, if you have any questions or uh, any other programs I sh should check out or anything else you want to make. Uh, uh, video to have a video about uh, just ask me and may subscribe to my channel I would be really happy if I get over like 10 subscribers so 
See you next time. Thanks a lot for watching.